Hey y'all, all right, today we are gonna do ramen stir fry. Right quick, we're gonna mix together the sauce. It's the same sauce I'm using on every one of them. We're gonna need six tablespoons of hoisin sauce. We're going to need four tablespoons of soy sauce. A whole tablespoon of sriracha. And you know I keep this stuff on hand. We got some brown sugar here. I always use the Trivia brown sugar. So you need two tablespoons of that because then we're doubling. Garlic powder and some ginger. I'm gonna need about a half a teaspoon of each. Same goes for salt and pepper. Half a teaspoon of each. Ramen, I just get it barely cooked. And I'm going to drain that. That's it, we're gonna mix it together. This version of the ramen is going to be shrimp. And you're gonna get peeled shrimp. You can have the tails on. And you need it peeled and deveined and already cooked. And then you'll just put it in at the end. All right, sauce is ready. All right, let's get everything ready to go so we can start cooking this. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We've already got the sauce mixed up and set aside. I'm gonna take a little bit of sesame oil. Put in the bottom of this. Now, this ramen that we're gonna do is probably the easiest out of all of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this over to the skillet. And I've already steamed our carrots in the microwave. Um, I guess we can start with a fork. So we're gonna get this hot, just just enough to warm these. These are sugar snap peas. So, and just enough to warm these up a little bit. And then we can start adding everything else cause really that's about it. I just want these to kind of warm up just a little bit and soften just a little before we start adding everything else. All right, just let that simmer for, I'm gonna try to do five minutes and see, see how it does. Okay, y'all, so my carrots are tender and the sugar peas are not tender, but they're starting to warm up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my other ingredients. Um, I used about, I just used some leftover um, julienne carrots that I have. It's probably about a third of a cup, maybe a half a cup, if that. Um, the sugar snap peas, I just got a bag of these from Walmart. Um, it's an eight ounce package. I just threw that in there. You don't have to boil those first, but if you wanted to, you could probably put them in a little bit of water and put them in the microwave and steam them for about three or four minutes and then put them on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shrimp in, but you don't wanna overcook the shrimp. So this is peeled and deveined. So it's about 24 ounces worth. I thawed them and rinsed them. So just right now I'm just warming them up just a little. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in the noodles and the sauce. I did four packages of ramen. I took out the packets, so we didn't use the seasoned packets at all, because we're gonna just use the noodles.
I heated up my steamed julienned carrots, which I julienned those. I'm sorry, I bought those already julienned at Walmart. I steamed them in the microwave, covered in a bowl of water, just a little bit of water, for just a couple of minutes. I didn't want them cooked, I just wanted them softened just a little bit. Then I put those and the sugar snap peas. Put them in the skillet just to warm them up and soften them just a little bit. Then added everything in, added my rinsed, cooked shrimp that's been peeled and deveined. 24 ounces is how much I used. You can use more or less, you know, just depending on what you want to do. Um, I wanted it to accent it. I didn't want to take over. I wanted it to be mo mostly about the ramen. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I put in here. We mixed the sauce in there, so it's all mixed. And that is it. The only other thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of sliced green onion. color and to give it a little bit more flavor um that's it and you just kind of leave it in this pan let it warm up a little bit let everything get warmed through and it's ready to serve hey y'all so we're going to use the same sauce i did on another recipe but we're going to change up the vegetables and the meat and everything i'm going to be doubling this recipe so i am going to have to Use extra. So you're gonna put poison sauce in here. So I'm gonna be putting six tablespoons. You're supposed to have two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using lower sodium, but we're gonna do four because we're doubling. You're going to need a whole tablespoon of sriracha. We love sriracha, it's like the best. Get my brown sugar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And the next thing is our spices. So you're going to need about half teaspoon of garlic powder and about a half teaspoon of ground ginger, half teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of pepper. Like I said, I'm doubling this, so my measurements on the video are not gonna match the measurements in the recipe, so you need to know that when you're making this. Um, the meat that we're going to be using is a carne piccata, I think is what it's called. It's basically looks like the leftover pieces from steaks or roast or whatever. And people put that in their tacos and stuff like that. So I've already cooked it and I've already drained it. And that's what we're going to add to our stir fry. Okay, y'all, we're back at the stove now. This is the meat that I was telling you about. I've drained it and everything. And I have also steamed my broccoli, got that ready. You could do that in the microwave. And I cooked my ramen noodles. I'm using four packs. Hopefully they're gonna fit in this skillet. Um, I just cooked them just enough. So that way they can kind of help soak some of the sauce up and everything. So even though this meat's cooked, I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil on it. All right, just stir all this up. And now I'm gonna add my noodles.
And then you're gonna take your broccoli and you're gonna combine that. Just make sure that all the water has drained off of it. You don't want watery pasta. But that's it, y'all. Really easy, really simple. Really simple dish. And extremely budget-minded. Today, we are going to make some um, beef. It's ground beef, ramen, stir-fry. And the first thing that I need you to do is to go ahead and make your sauce. So, I'm going to put in six tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. This is low sodium. A whole tablespoon of sriracha and two tablespoons of brown sugar and some garlic powder and a half teaspoon of ground ginger and a half teaspoon of kosher salt and try to do about a half a teaspoon of pepper I've already cooked and drained a couple of pounds of ground beef. I did add a little bit of sesame oil, but since I did this just a tad bit different than the recipe that I will list below, it's gonna be loosely followed by that recipe, by the way. Y'all know I change things. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there. Sesame oil is your secret. I've already um, added the vegetables that I want to add. You can do frozen vegetables that are stir fry, or you can just do regular frozen vegetables. Um, I use some frozen peas that I had in the freezer, and I use these fresh julienne um, carrots. Neat little trick for fresh things like this that you don't want to saute. You just want to put it in already pretty much halfway softened. Stick them in a um, bowl in the microwave and a little bit of water with a lid on top or some kind of covering and microwave them and it'll steam them. And then you just pour the pour the water off. So they're not completely soft, but they're about halfway there. That way all I have to do is turn them over skillet and it'll finish cooking them. Okay, so this is drained ground beef, frozen peas, julienne carrots, and I've added some sesame oil just to keep things from sticking. Okay, and then I made up our sauce that I showed you earlier. I went ahead and cooked my ramen noodles separately. I don't like them real mushy. So, I've cooked four packs of ramen noodles separate. I took out the powder, the little seasoning packet, and put that up. I'm not gonna need it for this. I'm gonna go ahead and get your sauce on everything. And I'm hoping these noodles are going to be enough. Okay, so the noodles are not completely cooked either because I don't want them to be mushy, so.
Another thing I'm going to add to this, I have some dry chopped green onion. And I'm going to put a little bit of sesame seeds on here, but you could put some chopped peanuts. Just a little bit of sesame seed. All right, y'all, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.